I thought only six questions. Oh, it's six times six, ah, 36. Ah. Oh, piang eh. Sorry, here's number what already. What's that again? Combination of both, uh, but majority are gluttons. No choice. Do food blog? Yes, yes. Food bloggers serve a very good purpose. Otherwise, the PR agencies got nobody to reach out to. I came from an era where food is food and porn is porn. Food porn is, is oxymoron. So, you know, get, get, get it real. I mean, food is food, porn is porn. Okay, so food porn, next. I mean, why, why, why is this question so racist? Good food is good food for everybody. There's no Western palate, there's, there's just palate. You can eat or you don't know how to eat, got teeth or no teeth, that's it. Food is either good, no good, cheap and not cheap. And of course, in Singapore, you know, you get, you get food poisoning, la, you know, kind of things, you know, eat the raw fish and you die and all that, you know, safe and not safe also. So that's it. Question not relevant. Thank you. Okay, okay let's go serious. Eh? That it is too cheap. And because it's too cheap, it's causing the death of our food culture. Rich people are the worst. They will go and complain, why you raise your bachong mee by 50 cents? Complain, you raise by 50 cents, I won't eat. Ah. Then they go MBS and spend 200 bucks on some stupid pasta. There are food in Malaysia that are, that are lousier and better. It's food in Singapore that's lousier and better. So you compare dish by dish, this conversation will go forever. So... Uh, of course not. I mean, Newton Circus has about, I don't know how many, I understand 60-70% of them sell that same old one thing. Barbecue stingray. And you're gonna go and find like I don't think you can find the top 20 Singaporean dishes on there. So yeah, that's the place where Angmo should go to. No, I'm joking. Anything I feel it's not worth paying for. Like crap bihun. I cook crab bihun, but out there they serve me crab bihun, so I do it myself with a very nice prawn lobster bisque base for the bihun and then wine and uh, blah, 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 and then you put some very nice uh, uh, Sri Lanka crabs. Yeah, the one I have to be racist. It's got to be Sri Lanka crabs and, and nada. That, my friend, is something left. For my followers to say, no me. I just squat in the mountain and just spew stuff like this. Food fads are for losers. Good, yeah. you know, answer as short as the question. Okay, good. Mama shop lah. Anyway, I once picked up one on the road also. I don't know if somebody jumped down and then I saw it nice feet. Uh, where and then this one, I don't know, I don't know where I got it from. Anyway, so as long as it's cheap. Yes. When I was playing masa masa at the age of three, I I realized I was No of course. Not. Food Serious, huh? serious. Huh? Food, the space of uh, food culture, dabbling in the, the 360 business culture and blah 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 of uh, heritage food was something nobody did. 
I think now also nobody do. Uh. So I went into it some uh, 19 years ago. So we do, we do uh, food guides, uh, coffee table book coming up. Wait, huh? And then we got the food courts, we do TV shows, we do the World Street Food Congress, we do the... What else my company do? Tomorrow, that list will change, but yeah, anything. 360 of heritage food culture. Yes, of course. It's, uh, it's uh, especially when you're hungry, Minimum three times a day, and uh, how can it not? Everybody who calls me and PMs me and bings me is all about food. Nobody calls me up and talk about, hey, you know, there's this flower along that road. Now, what do you know the name of the flower? I never seen that. They they don't call me for this kind of information. <laughs>